Maharaj, whose disappearance day was yesterday. So, especially praying to these great Acharyas, these great souls in our Gaudiya Vaishnava Parampara is, is very, very important for our spiritual progress. And um, when we know about their lives, when we hear about their lives and, and their surrender to Lord, their dedication to chanting, reading, hearing, service, etc., it gives us so much faith and conviction that we can also follow in their footsteps. So I'm very, very grateful to Amsivilas Prabhu for uh, preparing about Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj and sharing with all of us. So Prabhuji, without any further delay, we are very eager to hear about this, this great personality. Now we please enlighten us. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you very much, Subhilas Prabhuji. Thank you for this opportunity to learn and prepare and uh, present so that for my own purification of this wonderful Vaishnava Acharya in our parampara. So thank you so much, Prabhuji. So just, uh, I'll just share and we'll do uh, Mangala Charan and uh, start. So. Om Matnana Timirandasya, Nyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Yena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Sri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupa Katamahyam, Tadati, Swapatantikam, Vandeham Sri Gurum, Sri Yuta Patakamalam, Sri Gurun Vaishnavam, Sir. Shri Rupam Sakra Chata Sahakana Ragunatan Vitam Tam Sachivam Sadvaidam Savadudam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deham Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahakana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam Sha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Hudina Bando Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanjana Gorangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Prashabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpataru Pascha Kripa Sindhu Pya Evacha Patitana Pavani Pyo Vaishnave Pyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Kaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much, dear devotees, for joining. And, uh, we're going to discuss the glories of Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, who is a very important Acharya in our parampara. So everybody, um, we first pick up the Bhagavad Gita, and after the introduction, we have a page that tells us who are the great Acharyas in our parampara. And... Um, Prabhupada has listed 32. So, um, and Jagannath Bab, Das Babaji Maharaj is uh, listed uh, with Balde Vidyabhushan as Jagannath uh, and at, uh, as line number 28. And uh, after Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Gaur Kishore uh, Das Babaji Maharaj, then uh, it's of course our. Um, Great Grand Guru uh, is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati uh, and Maharaj, and then there is um, um, Srila Prabhupada. So for those who are initiated, uh, he's like our grandfather, and uh, and then our sp uh, spiritual master is our father. So it, it is very important for us to understand uh, and uh, the mood and the and the teachings of these wonderful acharyas in the parampara, just like Shubhilas Prabhuji said, uh, why we are doing this. So there is an invocation for Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Uh, the prayer is, Gaura virbhava bhumestvam nirdeshta sajjana priya Vaishnava sarva bhoma sri jagannatayate namaha. So uh, this means, we are going to learn about how, why, why this is. So Gaura Avirbhava, Avirbhava we know is the appearance, right? So yesterday was the disappearance day. So why Gaura Avirbhava? And Gaura Avirbhava means appearance of um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gaura is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, 
this is actually all this is arranged such that we are preparing our consciousness for um, Gaur Purnima when, when the Lord was born in Navadvip. And actually, um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is the is one of the important persons who who helped find the exact spot where uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. And we'll go into that past time, but. Uh, this invocation mantra has this this as the first line that he was the one who pinpointed the spot to Bhaktivinoda Thakur who made his life's mission to find exactly where uh, Lord Gauranga was born. So that's why the first line is Gaura Virpava, the appearance of uh, Gauranga, Bhumestuam, where, where exactly, which, which, where was he born? And Nirdeshta, who gave that instruction where he was born to the Sajjanas or Vaishnavas. And uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur gave that name Sarva Bauma Sri to Jagannath um, Das Babaji Maharaj. So Sarva Bauma is most respected Vaishnava. So we are so um, fortunate to have such a great Vaishnava in our parampara, in our line of succession. And uh, so we'll learn more about him. So this, this slide actually tells us the disciplic succession. And it's good to see the pictures of um, these great Vaishnava. Can yes, you please do slide show mode? Or yes. Yes. Uh, yes, sure, Prabhu. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Um, so starting from Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead through the Guru Parampara that we can get all the other names from uh, Bhagavad Gita after the introduction. Um, but I, I've here noted a few of them, like um, if we go through the Guru Parampara, then there's Narottam Das Thakur and Shubhilas Prabhuji, thankfully, and the Java conference every day, we, we do a lot of uh, bhajans and they are from Narottam Das Thakur. And then after Narottam Das Thakur comes Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. So it, it's good to see their pictures also so that we, we, we know they, they were... Uh, great personalities and when we see the pictures in the temple we can recognize and um, give our prayers to these great Vaishnavas. So uh, as Vishwanath Chakrati Thakur came after Narottam Das Thakur and then um, Vishwanath Chakrati Thakur's disciple was Balde Vidya Bhushan and that is the picture on top here. Uh, and there, there were a few more acharyas, but they're not mentioned in the in the list uh, um, in Bhagavad Gita. But uh, they are important. And there's Ut Uddhavadhas who came after Balde Vidya Bhushan, and then uh, Madhusudana Das Babaji, who is actually the um, uh, sannyas initiating guru of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, who we are discussing today. And his picture is here. So if you see this picture, you can recognize him. There are two important pictures we usually see of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. One is uh, him chanting on this, sitting on this um, stone. He's a Bhajananandi. And there's one more uh, we'll see later where he, he, he lived for a very long time. Uh, and exact dates are not, uh, everybody doesn't agree on the dates, but everybody knows he, he lived for more than 100 years. And most of the texts agree that he lived for 144 years, um, a very long lifespan, but he, he spent his entire life uh, be, like chanting the holy names of the Lord. So that's why he's shown here with uh, Ajapa Mala and uh, he, he's a Bhajananandi. So he's not um, like the preachers who go all over the world like Srila Prabhupada. Um, he's not a Goshnanandi as uh, Srila Prabhupada, but he's a Bhajananandi. He has the greatest uh, Dhamnishta. So uh, he, he focused his preaching in uh, Vrindavan and Navadvip uh, and Mayapur area. So, um, so that is Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. And uh, then we see that, uh, that actually in, in Bhagavad Gita, we'd see uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Gaur Kishore uh, Babaji Maharaj coming after Bhaktivinoda Thakur. But actually, they are contemporaries. Both were inspired by Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. And both were both had uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj as their Shiksha Guru. And one may ask, why Shiksha Guru? So there, there is some details there. 
um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was initiated by uh, another Prabhu who, who gave Diksha to him. But then uh, we, we would learn from our um, uh, current Bhagavatam, we are learning about how, uh, about um, Shukracharya and Bali Maharaj. So there, there were some, um, some um, aspects where they, they didn't agree on the principle. So, um, so uh, Bipin Bihari uh, um, Maharaj was, was actually the Diksha Guru of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And um, we, we see that one, one, one reason why he's, but Bipin Bihari Prabhu is not mentioned in, in our parampara is because he believed that uh, the, the Brahmin um, via, uh, Vaishnavas or Brahmin born Vaishnavas were superior. So we see how this parampara is made such that the, the right philosophy is passed down. So anybody who kind of deviates a little bit is not mentioned. And we see that um, in, the, in the maturity of Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Gaur Kishore Babaji Maharaj, they, they want to keep the, keep the succession so pure. So that's why um, the, the Shiksha Guru is mentioned as their gurus in our, in our books. Um, so so th they both had the same Shiksha Guru, uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, who actually lived a long time and he actually touched the life of uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj also. And uh, there was a big debate and th th there are there's a lot of pastimes of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur um, going to these Vaishnava debates and establishing what is the true true philosophy wow. that uh, it is not based on birth, it's based on practice. That um, and, and we see that in Prabhupada's preaching also. Yeah, he doesn't differentiate between white body or Indian born or anybody. We see that our ISKCON has everybody and uh, that is the greatness of our disciplic succession. And uh, these are all stalwart devotees and we are so, um, so fortunate to have these wonderful devotees in our line of succession. Um, so um, so uh, <laughs> Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur uh, was, a, was a great um, astrologer, uh, even when he was very little. So uh, when he was 12 years old, he got an instruction from um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. So why don't you make a Vaishnava calendar? So he did service even to Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. And so Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj has a very prominent position. He's touching the life of at least three Star Wars devotees in our, in our parampara. And of course that, that all got passed on to our Prabhupada. Uh, so, very, uh, very uh, important to learn about all of these great Vaishnavas. Okay, moving on, just some details on Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. His Diksha Guru is Jagannath Goswami of Rindavan, and he got Babaji initiation. So Babaji initiation is just uh, a Vaishnava Sanyasa initiation uh, was given by Madhusudana Das Babaji. And uh, his shiksha, um, he's the shiksha guru of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, like we mentioned. He, uh, they met each other in 1880. Um, just to give you some perspective of the timeline, and uh, he also gave instruction to but um, uh, to Gaur Kishore Das Mahapaji Maharaj, and like we mentioned about uh, to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. And so appearance uh, of uh, the Prabhu was. Um, so Maharaj was 1750. This is all, all approximation, right? So um, 1750 in Bengal, um, British India, Bengal as in uh, today's Bangladesh. So uh, where Bipul Prabhu uh, and some of our Prabhus are from. So very, very spiritual land. Um, and uh, disappearance, of course, in uh, Navadweep. Um, and he, he lived for 144 years. And yesterday was the uh, Disappearance Day celebration for um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Uh, he was raised in a very well-to-do family and after his education, he, uh, he dedicated his life in, uh, in Vrindavan and Navadweep um, to um, uh, completely surrender his life to Krishna and um, and Lord Gauranga. So let's go into the pastimes. 
um, of um, Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj. So one such pastime is uh, Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj, uh, you know, he's a uh, Bhajanandi, he, he chants all the time and uh, he's, yeah, he, it is said in the scriptures that he is actually a Rasik Manjari, who so was a um, um, close associate of Radharani. So he, um, being the, such an exalted Vaishnava, when a sweeper of uh, Brindavan went and gave him uh, a, a piece of bread, um, Maharaj accepted that. And all the Vaishnavas around, he said, how can you accept from a sweeper? They're not even uh, following all the principles. Uh, and uh, everybody thought you are setting a bad example. But then we see about the consciousness about these great uh, Vaishnavas who are, who are in a different consciousness than just um, following the rules set to them. So what he said was, actually these sweepers are the most fortunate because they were great uh, tapasvis and saints in their previous life. That's why they became sweepers in Vrindavan. And they are associating with the dust of Vrindavan every day. And what, what more benediction should one need to be, to be taking care of the dust in Vrindavan every day? So he, he felt subordinate to these sweepers. So it, it just shows the humility and, uh, 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 and the spontaneous love that um, um, Jagannathas Babaji Maharaj has, and he accepted the bread, and everybody was suddenly convinced. Oh yes, we didn't even think about it that way. Of course, the Vrajraj or the dust of Vrindavan is the most supreme, and whoever associated with it is very exalted. Okay, uh, and the picture on the right is um, Jagannathas Babaji Maharaj was very direct in his um, in his preaching and instruction. So. Uh, he was very severe on anybody who who preached a Bhagavata Katha uh, just for name, fame, adoration, or uh, just for professional profession, or was trying to uh, sell their service to make a lot of money. So, if their consciousness was not right, uh, Babaji Maharaj was was very severe on them, and so he gave an instruction uh, to one of this uh, professional Bhagavatam teacher that this is not right and you are no better than a, a prostitute. So if with that straight instruction, he was able to change the con, uh, consciousness of um, this professional Bhagavatam reader. Uh, and, and, and so we can learn that when we, when we read and study the Bhagavatam, our consciousness should be to please um, Krishna and, uh, and devotees and not to, um, not to increase our own self-ego. Um, so that, that is one instruction from um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Uh, and we, we see that Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, he lived a long time and his body became very, um, very crippled where he couldn't walk. Uh, he had to be carried everywhere. He had a very close associate called Bihari Prabhu. Uh, so Bihari Prabhu uh, was very muscular and he was able to carry uh, Maharaj everywhere. So in the left picture, we see that uh, Bihari Prabhu is carrying him everywhere where the Kirtan is going on. And um, and actually, on the right picture, this is a picture um, that is um, that we can see um, in in Mayapur uh, that uh, Maharaj is carried in a basket everywhere by his close associate. And and most important thing is Maharaj, uh, um, though he's like doubled over, and um, uh, when there is kirtan, he would jump up. His hands will all come up, and he's full of enthusiasm um, and um, uh, for the holy name. So whenever he he hears kirtan, it's like a miracle. How can a person who can't even move lift up his hands? And uh, and uh, the devotees used to say it's like um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself was dancing when when there is kirtan. So uh, he used to come up from his basket and express his ecstasy for kirtan and engaged in anywhere that is kirtan, he would uh, he would be part of that. So it, it teaches us how how how, how much we should be uh, surrendered to the holy name and how, uh, how much ecstasy we should get from. Uh, the holy names of the Lord and the Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. 
So this is another pastime where um, Maharaj was totally uh, in a spiritual um, consciousness. He never even um, thought about his own personal needs or anything. So this, this is an example where um, everybody who used to see um, Maharaj being carried by um, Bihari Prabhu, yeah, they would give uh, one rupee or a few paises uh, because at that time, uh, rupee, uh, one rupee is very so much money. Um, so he, they used to collect it in a pot. And Maharaj always used to, wanted to use anything he got in the service of uh, devotees and um, and the holy daham. So in uh, this is in Vrindavan where um, uh, Bihari Prabhu had uh, took some money and kept it aside for Maharaj's uh, personal needs. So he took twelve rupees and kept it away. But uh, but Maharaj, you know, he he is uh, almost blind. He can't even open his eyelids. Uh, it, it's so heavy and one person had to hold his eyelids up for him to look. But Maharaj knew exactly um, that um, Bihari Prabhu was keeping some money away for Maharaj. So he said, uh, how much money do we have? So um, Bihari Prabhu kept 12 rupees away and said, oh, we have 188 rupees. Maharaj said, what happened to the remaining 12? I know you have it. And then uh, Bihari Prabhu said, oh, Maharaj, you know everything. And uh, he took the 12 rupees. So he, there was 200 rupees total in the pot of collection. And Maharaj said, go go and buy rasagulas and give it to the cows of Vrindavan, all the cows in Vrindavan. So, um, uh, and Bihari Prabhu said, why uh, Why only cows should we, should we give it to the devotees um, uh, or, uh, or the exalted people there? Yeah. And Maharaj said, um, no, at this point, I, I want only to give the cows because most of the people there at that point of time were all pretenders. So um, they're not real uh, devotees. So we know that uh, like our Krishna consciousness movement went through a time when um, these great exalted Vaishnavas had to come and um, get everybody to the to the right philosophy because there was a lot of apasampradayas happening. And um, it is great that such Vaishnavas were there to, to get get the uh, get the philosophy and pass it on so at that point um, there was only jagannath das babaji maharaj who who lived that long life to give this message to a uh, uh, a very qualified vaishnava bhakti vinod thakur and um, gaur kishore babaji maharaj and then then only he passed so this this um, this pastime shows us how maharaj had a very great responsibility because he was the only one at that time to to know exactly how to be krishna conscious Okay, this is a pastime where um, uh, where uh, Maharaj is uh, always uh, taking care of everybody in in the holy dham, and and uh, this is in uh, Navadweep, where there was a, a dog and her five puppies used to come and um, eat prasadam from the same plate as Maharaj, um, and Bihari Prabhu is the one you see on the on the on the left in that picture. He, he definitely didn't like dogs eating from his, uh, his guru's plate. And so he went and hid all the dogs away um, uh, the next day. And Maharaj, uh, next day when he got uh, uh, Mahaprasad, he was waiting for the dogs. And since the dogs didn't come, Maharaj asked Bihari Prabhu, where, where are the dogs? And Prabhu said, actually, I, I have... I've taken care of them. They shouldn't be uh, eating your Maha Maha Prasad. And, and then um, Jagannatha Babaji Maharaj said, if they're not eating with me, I'm not going to eat as well. So, um, because he, he felt that uh, the animals in the dham also were very, very exalted and he wanted to take care of them as well. So it just shows the humility and um, and seeing every animal as a spirit soul and uh, exalted Va Vaishnavas in the holy dham because they they were not there um, uh, for any material reason. These uh, even the animals in the holy dham are very exalted. 
uh, Maharaj is teaching us. And uh, this, he, he lived in a very, very uh, humble situation of a, of a mud hut with, uh, with grass roof, like we see here in this picture. And um, anybody who wanted to uh, get initiation from, from Babaji Maharaj, they had, uh, they had to prove that they, they were real. So uh, one of the ways that Maharaj uh, made them prove their, um, that they're genuine uh, is one, one of the stories where uh, one, one person um, who wanted um, uh, Babaji or uh, Sanyas initiation came to uh, Babaji and he said uh, he will not give initiation. So this, this person waited outside this little hut uh, of Babaji Maharaj for three days without eating, sleeping, and just chanting. And then Babaji Maharaj um, gave him initiation. So um, it, it just shows that uh, Babaji Maharaj was very selective and, and, uh, and gave his mercy only to the very genuine person. So um, seeing that, hearing that uh, um, pastime, I'm uh, we are so fortunate to get the mercy of our own spiritual master because we are coming in this parampara to just see how much uh, they tested their disciples. And uh, so um, so we, we really owe a gratitude to our spiritual master for uh, giving us initiation and our mercy and their mercy to us to connect us to this very, very uh, exalted parampara that we are in. And uh, th this this slide is just showing how um, how much Babaji Maharaj was in a spiritual consciousness. Like I said, he uh, he he is Rasik Panjari and uh, uh, eternal associate of Srimati Radharani, and he's always in that mood. And he had very very high standards of uh, of bhajan and uh, and chanting. He used to. Uh, he, he, his practice was um, three to seven a.m. in the morning. He was to chant fully, and then he was to also say from after sunset to 11 p.m. Uh, you have to be chanting. And he, he said that in the evening time also he used to chant. Just um, he believed that um, Lord Shiva he used to come at night, and he would check all the devotees what they're doing. Are they sleeping or chanting? And uh, uh, because Vaishnava Nam Yada Shambhu, uh, he and uh, Lord Shiva's blessing would be there only for uh, those who chant uh, before they sleep. Also, was uh, Maharaj's instruction, and he used to chant, and he he set very very high standards for his chanting. Also, um, and actually, he he had uh, many vratas he used to take. There is the uh, uh, Puraishcharya Vrata that uh, he used to take where. What, what that entails is he used to go to Rishikesh in the summertime. And this Puraishcharya Vrata means for three months, he would just do chanting. So he's a Bhajananandi, he, he has the greatest Dham Nishta. So he's show, showing the purity of a person who is in this holy Dham and who is totally in, uh, in Krishna consciousness, chanting all the time because they're totally surrendered to the holy name. So he, he used to, for three months nonstop, he would just come out in the evening once, for a little bit of prasadam and doing his uh, personal business, but uh, he would be chanting uh, from from day till uh, like almost like 24 hours. And uh, his vrata was Puraishcharya vrata was uh, that uh, he wouldn't talk to anybody, only chant. But uh, there was this pastime where uh, after two months he. Um, out of habit of talking to his um, uh, Bihari Prabhu, he said, uh, Bihari, and he said something. And then he said, oh, I have broken my, my Vrita. So his Purashtariya uh, Vrita was for three months. So he had finished two months. So he started it all over again because he said, oh, I, I unknowingly said, uh, said some other words other than Hari Nam. So I have to do that. So we see how... What a, what a huge high gold standard he's setting. And definitely we can't do it in this time and age, but we can see their consciousness and at least make our 16 rounds uh, very genuine and, um, uh, uh, and pure seeing, uh, seeing this Prita that Maharaj used to take. And uh, during, um, 
during during the chaturmasya maharaj had a very very strict regimen also he used to take um, uh, he used to chant all day during the chaturmas um, th that is the rainy season right uh, that uh, none of the acharyas travel um, and they they are just in one place so during chaturmasya maharaj used to um, chant day and night and then he would just have bananas uh, like three bananas um, as as food uh, and then in the second month, he, he would just have goa. And in the third month, he'd just have buttermilk. And in the fourth month, he'll have like banana flour. Uh, so he was very, very strong in his nishta and, um, and showing us by example how we should take pleasure in the holy name. And that, that's the only activity which is the most important. Okay. Um, and and Maharaj was called a Siddha Baba because he's such exalted. He he showed many miracles, um, and these are these are a few pastimes where he did show that. Um, so there there was this family uh, who came, uh, um, and um, they, they wanted to see a miracle from Maharaj. And Maharaj was chanting at that time, and uh, they said, "Maharaj, can you show us a miracle?" So these are uh, regular people. They they not they, they they want to see some miracles to 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 convince themselves about Krishna consciousness. So Maharaj, um, so so Maharaj took a stick and he started beating it, and then. This uh, this family thought, oh, Maharaj is not happy. We shouldn't have asked Maharaj uh, to do, to show us a miracle. So he, um, this uh, this person, the 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 father in the family, apologized. Oh, Maharaj, sorry, he didn't want to uh, disturb you. And Maharaj said, no, no, that's okay. I was just uh, shooing away the goats in Vrindavan. <laughs> Actually, Maharaj was in Navadvip at that time, and with uh, beating that stick. Maharaj was uh, shooing away some goats who were eating Tulsi Maharani, uh, Tulsi leaves in uh, Lokanath uh, Prabhu's uh, ashram in, in Vrindavan. So we know Navadvip is in West Bengal and Maharaj uh, from uh, West Bengal hitting his stick is, is shooing away some, some goats in, in Vrindavan. And um, so this, this person uh, didn't under, um, didn't believe so he he sent a telegram at that time there were telegrams he sent a telegram he was a well to do person so he wanted to find out so he he sent the telegram to um, uh, to vrindavan uh, to see if this was true and actually it was he, he found out that actually there were, there were goats coming and eating tulsi and just uh, and, and for some reason they were they were going away and then he, he, he really understood that uh, um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj is not an ordinary person. He's a very close associate of the Lord and, uh, he, uh, and, uh, uh, and his faith increased because of that. So Maharaj uh, had these pastime just to uh, increase the consciousness of, uh, of uh, regular people as well. And one such example is this um, uh, there was this great landlord who was very very uh, proud of his money and uh, he he was trying to show off when Maharaj was walking uh, he gave one rupee to to Maharaj to Bihari who who got that rupee um, and uh, and they were walking walking by and Maharaj suddenly told Bihari Bihari go back and give that one rupee back to the um, landlord. And then uh, the landlord asked, why Maharaj, I have enough money. And Maharaj said, this one rupee is so heavy. Uh, I don't know how you carry so much rupees. So you, you yourself keep it. So he was trying to teach this landlord that uh, um, he had thousands uh, uh, of rupees and he was giving one rupee thinking he's doing a great thing. So it, it just shows that uh, yesterday also in Narayani Mataji's um, uh, uh, lecture, we heard about uh, Krishna sees what we hold back, not what we give. And uh, so this is a similar teaching where Jagannathas Babaji Maharaj is teaching this landlord. Uh, he has so much money, he's just giving uh, one rupee and thinking he's a great person. So he, uh, he crushed his um, false ego there. And this is uh, the, one of the most important pastimes of um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj and uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. 
Uh, actually, Bhaktivinoda Thakur uh, made his life's mission to find the exact place where um, uh, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. And this is an important pastime for us to meditate on also because Mah Mahaprabhu is going to be born soon because of Gaur Purnima. So we can prepare our consciousness with this, uh, this pastime. So uh, Vin uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur was searching everywhere. Where can I find the exact place? Where was the house where um, uh, Mahaprabhu was born and uh, he was using different ways to find this. So, uh, you know, he was a magistrate in the court. And so he moved uh, from Calcutta to, uh, to uh, Navadweep, uh, Krishnanagar, um, to, to just do this uh, important service of finding where Mahaprabhu was born. So he used map and empirical evidence to, to find uh, exactly. So um, uh, he, he was sitting in, in his uh, house in Krishnanagar and looking across the river and he saw like two pillars of light over there. And uh, yeah, he, he went with his son, uh, he crossed the river and went there and he found that uh, only Tulsi is growing at that place where he saw the light. And uh, he, he, uh, he looked at, uh, he, he asked around uh, about this place and they said it only, uh, only Tulsi grows here. It's owned by um, some Muslim farmers and they were very disgusted with this place because whatever they try to grow, it doesn't grow, only Tulsi plants grow. So Maharaj, um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur Maharaj, he found that, oh, this is, uh, this is probably, so this is the empirical evidence that he got that this place is something special. So then he looked for the scriptural evidence. So he, he, he went to uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat and uh, he was reading. And there it was said that uh, in Navadweep, uh, in, the, uh, in Mayapur, uh, in the middle, there is a place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. Again, this was a controversial topic at that time because some people thought he was born in East Bengal, some West Bengal, and uh, uh, Mahapra, um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur wanted to find the exact place. So he, he looked for the scriptural evidence, and uh, uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur, who wrote uh, Chaitanya Bhagavad, clearly said he was born in Mayapur. So uh, this was the scriptural evidence that uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur got. And, and then he was looking for spiritual evidence. So at that point, uh, time in 1880, like we saw, Bhaktivinoda Thakur had already uh, got introduced to um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. And B Babaji Maharaj was uh, very old at that time, uh, about 130 years old. And, uh, uh, um, and, and, and Bhaktivinoda Thakur wanted to see if Maharaj can give him uh, the exact place. So Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, uh, he asked um, Bihari Prabhu, can you carry Maharaj to this place? I found this place, which is, uh, which I feel is uh, a spiritual place and uh, maybe uh, one of the candidates where, where uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. And then he bought this basket. And then uh, this, uh, um, our Jagannathas Babaji Maharaj, who was, who was like doubled over and uh, couldn't even stand up, he stood up and started dancing. Uh, like we saw in the previous picture, how, how he, he's, um, he couldn't even open his eyes, but he, uh, he started up and started dancing. And this is the place where Chaitanya Gauranga was born. This is the place where Gauranga was born. And uh, so he, um, Bhaktivinoda Thakur got the uh, spiritual evidence from his Shiksha Guru that this is exactly the place where um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. And then he got another evidence, which is an architectural evidence that when they uh, started groundbreaking and, um, uh, and uh, they, they, they dug um, for the foundation, they got a deity of um, Adokshaja Vishnu. And Adoksha uh, Vishnu was the deity uh, based on the scriptures. It was the deity that Jagannath Mishra and Sachi, Sachi Mata uh, was there. It was their deities. And so it was clear that this was the exact place that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born. So all four evidence they uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur got and he established this, uh, this temple. It's called the Yoga Pita in, in Mayapur. 
So that's why we, we have this wonderful temple um, in, in Mayapur today. And uh, this is, these are the deities on the right. Um, so that's Jagannath Mishra, uh, Prabhu, and uh, Sachi Mataji with, uh, with little Nimai on their lap. So um, a, a, a good meditation for us to prepare ourselves for um, uh, God Purima. Uh, and, and another example here is um, this, this person on the right is Bhaktivinoda Thakur, and he had many children, as we know, uh, 12. And one of his sons was, uh, was ill. And then Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj said, all you need to do is to go to Yoga Pita, that's a place where uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu uh, was born. So just go there and make the child roll in the dust. Um, the child uh, doctors at that time couldn't find out what, what is the chronic illness the kid had. But when, when the kid rolled in the dust, he was fully cured. Uh, again, showing the glories of that uh, yoga pita where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born and uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj uh, being the great Vaishnava, giving the exact cure uh, required at uh, that time. Um, so the, 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 there were many places in Mayapur that Jagannath Das Mabaji uh, Maharaj uh, revealed to to uh, uh, to a community. So this is this this is called uh, Sri Sri Vasangan. So this is the this is the place where um, this is the house of Sri Vas Acharya. Uh, so that, that's another important spot that Jagannath Babaji Maharaj revealed to the world. And um, this, this slide is just showing about uh, um, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur uh, getting the instruction from Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj to create the Vaishnava calendar. He was only 12 years old and our, our great, uh, great grand guru, uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he, he also uh, created the Vaishnava calendar by Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj's instruction that we are following today, the Pancha. Um, this, this slide is just showing the, the deities that um, Jagannath Das Babaji Ma Maharaj worshipped, and they are currently in Vrindavan. So, um, uh, so this is uh, the left one is Sonar, um, so, uh, Sonar Gauranga. So this, uh, uh, this, these deities, Sonar means gold, and these were deities that um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj was worshipping, and uh, currently they are in Vrindavan. Um, um, yeah. So currently they are in uh, Vrindavan in uh, Gopal Bagh in Vrindavan. So it's, uh, it's like 100 meters from the Radha Gopinath temple. And there's a story on this. I don't know if we have time quickly, I'll say. Um, so um, uh, th there were a couple um, robbers who came to Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj's house and they said, what is the most valuable thing you have? Give it to us right now. And then Maharaj pointed to uh, his deities and these robbers, while they took these two deities, they're seeing this just shining like gold. That's why they call Sona. Uh, and uh, but one of the robbers hit his head on the uh, on the uh, on the door, and both the deities fell down. And then the robber thought, "Oh, this is not right. Uh, we shouldn't be taking the deities." And he kept it there. But then um, these great Vaishnavas, they 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 know everything happens for a reason. So he gave it. Uh, uh, he gave, gave his deities to de deities to. Uh, uh, another great Vaishnava who installed it in temple in Vrindavan. And uh, the right picture is the uh, Shadbuja uh, Mahaprabhu was also a deity that was worshipped by Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj and it is currently in Vrindavan. Um, and, sorry. Yeah. So, um, uh, so that is currently in Vrindavan. And uh, so both these deities, if we go to Vrindavan, we can we can go see them today. And this last slide is about uh, Jagannath Bab Das Babaji Maharaj's um, um, Samadhi Mandir and this Bhajan Kutir, which was built by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, um, and so that everybody can come and get um, get spiritual uh, blessings from from Maharaj even today. And this is in Navadvip. Um, and so. Again, we, let's, um, let's pray to um, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj.
to to help us in our spiritual life such a pure devotee uh, in our disciplic succession so let's uh, say this pranam mantra one more time gauravirbhava bhume stvam nirdesha sajjana priya vaishnava sarva bhauma shri jagannathayate namaha thank you prabhu ji and our pranam if you'd like to take over thank you all for listening patiently thank you thank you so much prabhu ji for such wonderful past times of such great personality thank you so let's see if the devotees want to share any or ask any questions if anyone has any questions or comments feedback feel free to share please we have about 10 minutes to to go through some questions or any 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 thoughts also any past time you liked any ref- realization reflection feel free to share sampada mata ji what did you like in today's class please tell everyone tell one point which struck you um i like that uh, how jagannath das um goswami um yeah. how he how he used to be so deep into his chanting and then, and then like um how how he in vrindavan uh he just like for three months he he uh he wanted to like he wanted to chant i think and then for but, but then in two in after two months like he said some other name and he just like repeated the whole thing again like that was kind of nice i think yeah yeah hari krishna thank you thank you so much i was also here hearing one other class jagannath das baba ji used to chant very loudly because uh, of course teaching us that the mind is very very fickle and uh, and if we chant you know like very very soft or just in the mind then we may end up sleeping that happens with me so therefore we need to chant loudly as far as possible uh, or as per situations so that uh, we can awaken <laughs> and then be awakened and mindful of our chanting or oh, you have a question i want to say something like when we chant loudly like is it also this that when we chant loudly the things or like the people around us who can hear us chanting they can also get benefit by the, by hearing the name of the of the holy name no oh, that's a wonderful point thank you for sharing thank you yes paswati mata ji wants to share something hari krishna prabhu ji dhanyavad pranam a very nice class bam uh, sibilas prabhu ji um we learned uh, uh, about jagannath das baba ji maharaj how a great soul he was uh, prabhu ji i like uh, the part where uh, uh, sri jagannath das maharaj uh, was not able to walk uh, he was carried by uh, his associate bihari but whenever he uh, listened the kirtan he jumped up uh, from uh, his lap uh, how powerful uh, is the sankirtan and uh, i like that part prabhu ji thank you thank you for giving the class hari krishna i'm just still repeating what i heard thank you nice to hear prabhu and then i can prabhu you can unmute prabhu want to say something Hare Krishna Prabhu ji Dr. Pranam Mr. Srishil Prabhupada yeah Prabhu ji very na- uh, nice uh, you know uh, class by Pamshilas Prabhu as always uh, Prabhu ji gives a lot of details and uh, I was looking how Jagannath Bas- Babu ji was uh, you know even though he was uh, you know uh, very strictly following the chaturmas just drinking like you know yogurt like banana you know uh, like that and also you know when they were asking to show you know some miracle you know he was able to show from all the way from navadweep uh, you know uh, and in vrindavan's uh, you know uh, this one and also uh, prabhu ji very nicely explained uh, how uh, 
we you know mahaprabhu's uh, place was found you know that was very interesting prabhuji i did not know most of those details thank you so much prabhu krishna hari krishna 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 prabhuji nano pranam Namshi Vilas Prabhu, thank you so much for um, giving a very crisp and very elaborate explanation on every slide. It was so enlightening to see all the uh, all details about Maharaj, and um, it was very enlightening for me. At least um, being here and knowing those details makes me more curious to visit all those places and get some blessings. And also the stories that you, sh- the past times that you shared, are very, uh, very. um thoughtful prabhuji it's like um, and especially the 1 dollar uh, 1 rupee one exam uh, past time you just said it's it, and and when maharaj was saying this 1 rupee is very heavy for me how did you carry so much mm-hmm. it's like in the in a common in right now we have, we were always thinking about big money and big dollars like fallen souls like me and uh, a spiritual soul like Uh, maharaj is not able to take 1 rupee and and it shows like this money is not something that we all should aspire for it's, it's always the bhakti we should be aspiring for is what kind of struck me there and and, and i like your slide prabhu ji you, you always put more details on the slide like not written details more visual details as always which is uh, which is very helpful prabhu ji thank you for sharing us and it was very good lecture in uh, by and prabhu ji thank you so much for de- sharing the details thank you ekant prabhu ji for your inspiration and uh, i i'm just uh, because uh, pictures they th- they say a thousand words so i i always feel pictures will stick on to our mind more than uh, putting words so thank you for that feedback prabhu ji that was pranam thank you sudeep prabhu ji वेरी and uh, as you said that it's a guru parampara and they are the senior most guru of our parampara so um, it is something really really wonderful to know more because uh, receiving the mercy of krishna is uh, secondary thing but receiving the mercy of gurus is the first thing that we can really you know, try for and uh, of course the slides slides as you said uh, ikant prabhu said they were wonderful i think they were drawn by <laughs> Uh, you no 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 for mata ji i was taking other lectures i took screenshots and all that uh, there were the pictures are not available for every past times so i was trying to find something and um, uh, discount desiatry uh, lectures had some of these slides so I, i took it from them so it's nothing from my side it's all uh, great devotees have done it and i'm just sharing mata ji but it was wonderful prabhu thank you so much thank you so much for sharing and you know uh, keeping us up deep on this thank you krishna ah thank you thank you so much so we will we'll express our deepest gratitude to his grace from silas prabhu for for preparing such wonderful um uh, past times and sharing with us in such a wonderful way with all the details and the visuals as well so we'll express our deepest gratitude by loudly chanting three times hari bo hari bo hari bo hari bo hari bo hari bo all glories to shubhilas prabhu ji Maharaj. forgot to mention manjulali's uh, manjulali priyadevi's comments as well she also said that uh, she was hearing and really like all the wonderful past times thank you very much prabhu ji thank you very so, much mata ji hari krishna thank you okay. hari krishna thank you so much have a wonderful krishna conscious day and for those who have appetite to hear more can join in the other class which will start in a couple of minutes
Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you.